Okay. Quick video for the couple of people that I write program for. Um, I just wanted to detail a my approach to warming up uh, for the squat and bench, not for the deadlift. I think it's a little bit of a weird lift, and I perform better without a proper warm up. I guess would be the way to phrase that. So my approach, but then also specifically what I do, because I'm too lazy to write out over this over text and can't convey it well. So um, first, I guess the approach that I usually take would be to think of the warm-up for the squat and bench as a micro workout that you do progress over time, but centered completely around muscular endurance. Like the load is nowhere near, not even close to what you would need to build strength, but you do progress the endurance over time. Um, and I focus on a little bit of stretching if you need that to hit position for the lift, but that's not a big part of it. And then mostly getting the joints involved in the lift sufficiently warmed up to prevent injury. Uh, and optimize performance because raising core body temperature improves performance as well. And I like to do that more in a localized fashion. Like a good example is I do a lot of front leg raises lying on my back to want my, uh, just get blood to my hip flexors to keep my hips from hurting during my squats. Um, so specifically how that manifests on my bench is first I do a dynamic series, which is a really fancy way of saying I spin my arm like this, like this a couple times, same thing on the other side to get my shoulders a little bit warm. I do that, probably about 20 spins per side. Again, that's just for the elbow and a little bit the shoulder, and then just trying to open up my chest a little bit. Not a ton of positioning needs for the bench. Um, then I would go into, I always use a five. I guess if it hurts, use a 2.5. I've tried progressing the weight on these, and moving to a 10 didn't really seem to do me any extra good. So I just do external rotations, and I progress these over time. I started out doing 20 per side, and now I'm at about 40 per side with the five. And it just progressed that over time in the workouts, increasing the endurance in your shoulders across sets. Then I move into a 10 complex where I just grab two 10 pound plates, do the same number of reps on each of these, but progress this reps per exercise over time. I'll do right now, whatever, 20, 20 curls, uh, 20 lateral raises, 20, let me step back, 20 overhead extensions to try and get my elbows and triceps warm like this. And then 20 rear delt flies with them. And I just try and progress that number over time. I'm kind of, I've, I've changed up the exercise, so I should probably be at more per, than 20 per exercise to just get a general pump, but that's where I'm at right now. And I'm just kind of adding one per week. So next week will be 21 on each of those. Um, and then I go into more specific barbell movements where I will do uh, rows, just stand, standing over the bench, uh, lowest point being my knees with the bar. I'll do X with a narrow grip, two, three, four grips, whatever, 12, 15, whatever I can get. Uh, with each grip, move it out, grip, try and match them, and then progress that over time. Like I'm at whatever, 15 rows per grip for four grips. And then I match the same scheme where I flip over, empty bar bench. I empty bar bench with my hands open just because I think it teaches me to keep it low in my hand, but that's arbitrary. Um, and I'll do, I'm actually at a lot more on the bench. So I'll do 20 narrow, pop my hands out, 20 comp grip, 20 is a little bit wider because I've got a very narrow grip. 20 like this, and then 20 would be a objectively max comp grip. Uh, just 20 quick reps, no lockout. I'm trying to get blood to my back and chest, um, and maybe a little bit to my triceps. I try and keep my shoulders out of my bench as much as I can. So warming those up, like the front delt, is not a huge priority for me. For me, it's mostly trying to get my lats warmed up and just kind of tight, and then triceps and elbows ready. I'd say the third most important factor is triceps, lats, and then for me, chest. So I just try and get that loose, and then just get a little bit of pump work with the bar. And then basically I just kind of jump into ascending sets where I do 20 with 135, 10 with 225, 5 with 275, a couple with 315, depending on what working weight I'm doing for the day. And I just jump to whatever I'm doing, I mean, depending on what it is. Warm-up schemes are a totally different issue.